Welcome to NEMA product training. NEMA can test just about any food or beverage you put into a test capsule. NEMA is perfect for sauces, soups, cooked pasta, muffins, pizza, really anything you might want to eat. NEMA can only provide a result for the sample being tested. Items where the protein is more uniformly distributed will give NEMA the best chance of detection. Example, if you ordered gluten-free pasta and the one you were served looks just like regular pasta, test with NEMA. If the server wavers when you ask them if there is flour in the soup, test it with NEMA. People often want to test for cross-contamination. Always remember that contamination may not be uniform throughout an entire dish, so try and get a representative sample from across your plate. Sample a tiny bit from each item focusing on the riskiest spots or ingredients, such as sauces. NEMA can only provide a result for the sample being tested. NEMA is not a guarantee the entire plate is safe. When testing packaged foods, think about your objective. Are you testing it because, one, it's not clearly labeled free from, two, you don't know what the ingredients are, three, you have experienced symptoms after eating the item, four, package says made in a shared facility. For one, two, and three, NEMA will be your detective. For number four, NEMA may still run into the same sampling risks as cooked dishes. Make sure to get a representative sample if possible and always proceed with caution. In addition to testing, you can search for the food in the NEMA app to see a collection of results to better inform your decision. We developed a chart to help you assess the risk level of packaged foods. This, combined with the NEMA result, will help you minimize the likelihood of an issue. For gluten, does it have an information label? Is it certified? Does it say gluten-free? Does it have a suspicious ingredient? Have you eaten it before? We have talked about what you can test. Now let's look at what you can't test with NEMA. Limitation foods vary depending on the type of sensor you have. For those with the NEMA gluten sensor, you cannot test fermented or hydrolyzed foods, such as beer or soy sauce. Due to the hydrolyzation and fermentation processes, gluten proteins are broken down so small the antibodies can't attach. The issue is present in most other consumer tests. The good news, foods containing these ingredients will not inhibit the testing of other foods mixed with those ingredients. You also cannot test pure alcohol. Mixers are fine. Finally, the NEMA gluten sensor cannot test pure xanthium and gar gum. These items are by their very nature sticky and prone to clogging the test. You can, however, test items that contain these additives. Non-food items such as cosmetics, paint, medicine, etc have not been validated with NEMA. Validation enables us to rule out ingredients that can cross-react with the chemistry. When a non-food item result is in doubt, we suggest double-checking with the lab test. Running a test is easy. First, fill a disposable capsule with a sample of food. The sample should be pea-sized, roughly 250 milligrams. Due to the chemistry inside, capsules do expire. Make sure your capsules are within their expiration period. We will always send you capsules that have between two and five months of shelf life left. Second, screw the lid shut to grind the food. If you have trouble closing it, use the capsule wrench included in your kit to help close it and align the top. The colored ring just under the capsule top should no longer be visible. The food will mix with the chemistry inside. Next, Insert the capsule into NEMA until you hear a click, then push the button. The screen will display push to start. Push the button to begin the test. NEMA will further grind and mix the food. You may hear some sound coming from the device. Finally, once the test completes, the sensor will read the result and display it on the screen. Before we discuss how to interpret your results, let's review NEMA's level of detection. For gluten, NEMA is designed to be highly sensitive at 20 ppm and above. 20 ppm is the FDA level for gluten-free. Regardless of ppm level, if NEMA detects any of the protein, the result will be allergen found. If you get a small result, yippee! What you are testing for was not found in the sample. Proceed as you normally would. 
If you get allergen found, there are a few things to consider. First, what were you testing? Home cooked meal, packaged food, or a restaurant dish? If you were testing a packaged food, think back to your testing objective and use the risk chart from earlier in the training to help guide you. If you received allergen found at a restaurant, use caution. Restaurants can be risky for those with food allergies. We choose to believe that restaurants try to do the best by their customers. However, they face many challenges. This chart is designed to help assess the risk when you receive a gluten found at a restaurant. The most important thing you can do is discuss your allergy and associated risks with the waitstaff. If you do not take that important step, the risks are much higher. Things to consider. Have you eaten there before? Have you been sick after eating there? Was the menu item labeled free from? Do they have a dedicated kitchen? Do they have a dedicated prep space? Did you request a substitution for a regular item? Another possible message on Nima's front screen is no result. No result errors are usually caused by overfilling the capsule, slow flow of the chemistry, or difficulty mixing the food sample. There are several ways to help lessen your chance of a no result test. Here are some tips to help reduce this error message. Welcome to the NEMA testing tips video series. After watching this video, you should understand what types of foods can cause test errors and how to help prevent them. Now, let's walk through some scenarios. Hard or dense foods could make it difficult to close the capsule, could damage the NEMA, or could potentially clog the test. Uncooked pasta is really hard and can make it difficult to close the capsule or could even break it. By cooking it, you'll soften it enough to make it easy to test. The same thing goes for frozen foods. Make sure you defrost them to make it easy enough to test. Other hard foods are uncooked beans, charcoal meat, or hard candies. Remember, if it's not easy to chew, it'll be difficult to test. Nima can have a difficult time getting a correct test result from foods that are really brightly colored. Like this vegetable juice that contains beets. Yum. For foods like this, try to take a very small sample or dilute it before testing. Just put a small amount of the juice in the capsule and add a drop of water. Now the brightness won't be a factor and Nima can easily read the result. Some other examples include bright green shakes and foods that contain a lot of food coloring like frosting. Foods that are extremely gummy or contain a large amount of xanthan or guar gum are prone to clogging. This is a jelly bean. To test this, you would cut or rip it in half and then squish it to make sure that the test runs correctly. In addition to gummy foods, thick foods like honey, oatmeal, or foods that are high in fat like ice cream can be prone to clogging and should be tested in really small samples like these. In order to test fine particles like those in ground spices or baking flours, make sure that you use a small sample. We recommend a quarter teaspoon and you can mix it with a little bit of water to make sure that the test goes well. To summarize, just remember these tips. If it's difficult to chew, it's difficult to test. Samples should be pea-sized or errors may be on the rise. When in doubt, take some out. We hope you found these tips and tricks helpful. Happy testing. As a new technology, Nemo can take some practice before you get comfortable. We hope this video has helped you get started, but if you have any questions, please reach out. Our team of coaches are here to help. You can email, chat, or schedule a call. We can even run through your first test together. This concludes our product training. Consider yourself a NEMA expert now? Visit nemasensor.com forward slash assessment to take our assessment to know for sure and receive $15 off your next capsule pack.